Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. That's why you get cellular reactor. Because, uh, battle cruisers are made out of cells. I, I don't think that the BCs are going to help in the train mission. I'm just avoiding the train mission for as long as possible. Yes, Commander. We'll be lucky to find any normal resources here, but centuries of asteroid impacts and scattered mm. mineral fragments. What else could help on that mission? What else do I unlock in this campaign? All right, we'll scout around. I don't even know. Yeah, whatever. SCV ready. There's Thors. Thors aren't gonna help. I think that's like it. Well, we're gonna be here for like 45 minutes because this mission is so slow. So I have time to think. Oh, Thors are locked behind the train mission. Well, that doesn't really help. Yeah, Duskwings could be okay. I just... Hmm. It's the speed that I'm really concerned about. How am I ever going to kill everything in time? You know? Duskwings will be nice, though. They're fairly strong. I actually don't know what their stats are over regular Banshees, but I've always been fairly impressed with them when I use them on later missions. It's a time. The problem with battle cruisers is time. It takes a really, really, really long time to get BCs out, and I just don't have time on that mission. Complete. Which is where all the problems come from. If I had like three or four more minutes, that mission would be a joke. It'd be so so easy. I think what I need to do is figure out a true route that I'm gonna take the banshees around, clearing stuff that happen to intercept the trains at the right times. That's going to be the most important thing, is I need to write down every place that the trains spawn from and then be there so that I have the maximum amount of time to clear out other stuff. What is it? And I think four starports was good. It built up really quickly, which was nice. There's like no money on this map. The fleet? Get yes. one of these, and then I'm going to hold off the first attack wave. Big job. And then try to take my expansion. I I told you I didn't mean to suicide the Diamondbacks. Yes, Commander. I didn't know that they were gonna rebuild that after it was dead, and they rebuilt it really, really quickly. Way faster than I thought they would. Okay, five BCs is probably enough to take down this base. You healed? All right, boys. Hit him with the Yamato kick. A couple of shots from that plane. Ready for dust off. I don't think that if I wait for four trains that I can clear all the bases. There's too many of them. There's just so much base and it's so everywhere. And a lot of it is in like random corners and stuff, which is really, really, really painful. Yeah, I was thinking of trying to slip something behind that main command center and taking it down. I do think that killing all the workers would be a really, really beneficial thing. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Okay, that's a Dark Templar thing. No, killing the train spawns are independent of each other. Delaying just means that you have more trains to fight in a shorter period of time. Okay. 
receiving headquarters. Waiting on you. Somebody, get me out of this mess. Will? Ah, greeting. Base is under attack. Explorer reporting. Let's make these guys a little bit stinky. And that should melt through them real quick. Let's roll. Unfortunately, Archons don't have noses, so they don't die to that. Yes, we have you receiving headquarters. Then we take these down. Ah, greetings, Command. Where's the Let's go build some auto gases. Life flights here. Mineral field depleted. I'm never sure what to do with this base after I abandon it. I get all the minerals from it, and then everything's kind of awkward because my production is all down there, and it's really expensive to move it. Mineral field depleted. But my orbital is not there. Mineral field depleted. It might be better to really quickly take this area down and then just float the starports over there. I obviously invested too much to do that this time, but just thinking in the future. Because I don't like this mission, and I like trying to make it as fast as humanly possible. Waiting on you. We are running low on minerals at this location. Additional mineral supplies have been located nearby. Picking up or dropping off? Transmit orders. Oh, really? Okay. I could use a hundred energy to do like a mule drop combo, where I bank up the energy, scan mule drop, and grab gases. That could be a good way to fund my war effort early on. Brand new. I'm also going to split these guys because I don't want to get dropped. What is it? This mission is. The Protoss is just super, super aggressive. The attack waves to come from somewhere over here, though. If I can take them down, then the warp prisms can't be rebuilt. I think that's what I want to do. Let's see, 24 minerals here, 4 minerals here. That's fine. Let's go. Oh. Wonder what they managed to drop over here. Receiving headquarters. Um. Commencing. <laughs> they just gave up. <laughs> I don't know why they're not helping. Now what? So we're gonna land, start harvesting. Is under attack. Oh, he's pissed. He's gonna get that Merc compound. Do I have perditions? I do. Didn't even know that I got them. So my next goal is going to be to snipe all the Ripfield generators. Because life becomes infinitely easier when they're gone. It's not overkill, it's thoroughness when you send 7 BCs to take down one zealot. And this entire challenge run is about being thorough. Go ahead. Big job, huh? There we go. That's probably a good defense. The... Ah. Well. Go get him, Tiger. Acknowledged. Oh no. That guy's going to be really annoying until my perdition turrets finish. Why do the Taldrum prisons have a higher target priority than Archons? That's weird. Our thanks, James Raynor. The Taldarim will pay for their treachery. Uh, pull back, pull back, pull back. No, 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 don't kill my guy. I need him. I like how the warp prisms just saw that fight. They were like, nope. <laughs> yes, 
Tech reactors aren't even good though when you're like really strapped for time because they take way longer than tech labs do to build. So they slow down your build by like 30 seconds, which when the hardest missions in this are the ones where you are on a time limit. And I don't want to slow down my build by 30 seconds at the beginning to get tech reactors. Ready for pickup? Hi from 2 a.m. Bad decisions. Nice. Confirmed. Oh, get in. Inbound. Because it's like a minute of build time, right? Complete. And I think that the tech lab is 25 seconds. Ah, greetings, come on. Trans and aren't they more expensive than the tech lab is too? Like they cost 175, don't they? I might be wrong about that. Yeah, so you're not really saving much with the tech reactor. I'm not sure it's good. Maybe. Listen, you might be right, but I don't want to restart this mission. I don't want to do 15 more minutes of this garbage. That's the TLDR here, is I'm going to look for any excuse because the maw is just so boring. What I should be doing is taking advantage of the power build. Because I have that upgrade. And if time is of the essence, I should be power building stuff. I think that's actually significantly more important than tech reactors are. Oh. Receiving headquarters. Tech Lab is, uh, 50, 25. Storms aren't. Oh! Oh no! SCVs don't go. I'm not sure how they expect you to get the money on this map. Like, do they want you to drop mules onto this? Do they want you to kill the thing and then land a viking? Yes, Commander. It's not really worth it, especially when you're gas starved. What is it? Yes, Commander. Okay, DT's play defense. Oh, I should open up this area. I mean, this one's worth it, I guess, but these ones I don't think are worth the mule. And Vikings are a waste of gas. Thank you, Dank Templar. Yes, Commander. Here's Edgy as always. Patching you through. Hmm. So I almost have 3-3 three, three on my BCs. I don't think the Ritfield generator is affected by armor, so what I have right now is pretty darn good. Oh really? Yes, Just gonna poke up here, take that one down, hit that. Then probably push down this way? Or something. I really just want to take down their attack capabilities. Yes, Commander. Because then everything becomes real easy. Uh oh, speaking of attack capabilities. Never mind. I thought that was going to be scarier than it was. This one seems like it'd be really fun in reversed. Or really painful. Uh, is the reverse guy still making reverse stuff, by the way? I haven't heard from him in a bit. And I know that he made the dig, and then I haven't seen him do anything past that. He's busy, gotcha. Take down their attack area. Who called in the fleet? 
Grab all the cash. And at this point, we're really close to having the mission be over. Oh yeah, the arcade got screwed too. I forgot about that. That would definitely be a reason to take a little bit of a break. I feel so bad for the people that were making arcade stuff and just couldn't even post their stuff or have anyone test it or play it because the arcade was so forked. That is such a horrible feeling. But luckily it works again. And it doesn't even seem to have any issues. Which is nice. Okay, I can get 3 3. Receiving headquarters. It was more than a week. Okay, it was like complete. two weeks. It was quite a long time. Uh, well, it was about a week for Europe. It was like two weeks for North America. Because Blizzard has a favored server. And it's Korea, because Korea worked fine. Okay, so we want to have these guys around here as a defensive formation. Oh, if that guy had lived, I would have felt pretty embarrassed. Got the money here. Vessels go away. I had DTs that are like three feet away and I decided to drop a mule to pick up this money. What am I doing? <laughs> I do bring freedom to all friend Rainers. One, no, two more root fields. But the one in the back doesn't matter that much. I should've just built a third starport. I'm like sitting here, not building it, because I'm like, well, I'm gonna run out of money eventually, and I could have that extra money in the form of a starport. In reality, I have had stuff queued this entire mission, just waiting for myself to run out of cash, and it still hasn't happened. Transmit orders. We have you on oh visual. no, they're dropping. Abandoned. Who called in the fleet? Let's see if I can go guard from that. Ah, greetings, Kuma. Receive. <laughs> you can argue that regenerative biosteel isn't bad, but you're not right. <laughs> It's 34 HP per minute. Uh, isn't it? It's like 17 minutes to fully heal a battlecruiser with regenerative biosteel. It's literally faster to just get science vessels and use the energy upgrade. Base is under attack. Abandon ship. No, if it's 34 HP per minute and they have 550 HP, it's not 10 minutes to heal, it's 17. Greetings, command. 10 minutes is way too low. Oh, they got mules for a reason, this is fine. Complete. Excellent. Receiving headquarters. We have you on visual. I don't want to sit around for, you're right that it would be a lot of healing for that, but I don't want to sit around for 17 minutes for my BCs. That's just too long. Oh, they killed my guy. I just go build that third starport now. Mineral field depleted. 17 with or without vanadium plating. I don't know what the math on vanadium plating is. I have literally never taken vanadium plating, I don't think. Maybe there was like some challenge run where you guys made me do it or something, but never of my own will have I vanadium plating. Yes, because why be able to take more damage when you could just kill all the enemies and not take damage? Okay, so I am gonna run out of money very soon. Uh, probably don't need that then. Push up to the side. This is where scouts get kind of threatening. Because the damage that I take is permanent. 
It takes 23 minutes with vanadium to fully heal. That's hilarious. If that's not a glowing star for the power of vanadium plating, then I don't know what is. Because anything that makes regenerative biosteel even worse has to be good. So that's all mined out. This is all mined out. Oh, the Psy Storms. Brutal. Did it just miss? <laughs> nice. Okay, Dominion AI is top tier with their ravens. Um, <laughs> Teldrim AI, uh, they got that in the bargain bin. That's hilarious. <laughs> what? There we go. Wasn't letting me drop my mule down there. I need that gas. Base is under attack. <sighs> Fine. I don't even care. You can kill literally everything there. And it won't impact me. We have you on visual. I'm busy. I'm not gonna win the mission. Attack. But I'm gonna kill all this so they can't attack me anymore. Battle is upon us. I guess I'm fighting the final boss now. Get in. I don't think anyone actually misses Vortex, but it was a really cool ability. Base is under attack. And you know the game was in a bad state when Vortex wasn't the overpowered thing. Okay, let's go clean this up now. Yeah, the Archon Toilet was awesome, but it was also uh, super, super imbalanced. Base is under attack. We have you on the shore. Transmit orders. Can we make our... Oh, we can make ourselves stinky. You don't even have to target another one. That's awesome. Commencing. Yeah. Smell me. We have you on visual. I promise my defensive force is going to be here eventually. Base is under attack. Is this the longest map in the game? Like, I legitimately think it might be the longest distance from one end to another in all of StarCraft campaigns. And they put it on the freaking Battlecruiser mission. <laughs> no, Mighty Canada, I was asking, is it, can you cast it on itself? In Brood War, you can't cast it on itself, you have to cast it on a different vessel. So you have to get two of them to do the magic eraser. Ah, greetings, command. Transmit orders. Yeah, it's weird because this map is so long that by the time you get from one to the other, the battle cruiser should have been buffed and gotten tactical jump at some point during that. Ah. Five years sounds like about how long it took. Here's some cash. Uh, good luck, Mr. Mule. You did your best. Oh, I don't have a fusion core anymore. Well, I guess I'm making more science vessels. What else is there? There's one over here. And then I think that's all the gas on the map. Rare footage of a carrier getting a kill. Especially a Wings of Liberty carrier. They've had their time, but Wings of Liberty was not it. Axidus79 subscribing for the fourth month. Thank you so much. Destroyers or wraiths are better? Well, Cloak is good. Uh. Yeah, Cloak is good. Raids are not. Explorer reporting. There we go. Abandoned ship.
sick capital ship, bro. You really tried with that one. Like, I don't want to poo-poo on your accomplishments, Exodus. I think you did an amazing thing. And probably more amazing because the Destroyer is literally the worst unit in the game. So kudos for beating the campaigns with it. Check for enemies? I'm not done killing stuff. <laughs> I know there's enemies. There's a lot of them. There's guys here, and there's guys here, and all the way around here. Transmit orders. Commencing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these to the front. And then I'm going to stop command them. And that means that they'll heal up my carry or my BCs as they kill everything. There we go. Take this out. And I have a lot of scans. I might as well make a bunch of orbitals right now, huh? Then I can scan more places to find the enemies. There's observers on this map. Well, good thing that I built those orbitals, huh? I might have to literally comb the entire map with observers. What is happening in chat? Why not give interceptors to a stalker? <laughs> and suddenly David Kim looks like a really, really good balance designer. Not that he wasn't. He absolutely was. We have you, on visual. you get that comparative uh, brilliance. Base is under attack. Where did these even come from? Abandon ship. We have you on visual. We gotta take the long hike back. Receiving. Ah, you hear me. Micro. We're going to save these orbitals. <laughs> Base is under attack. Yay, we did it. Where, where did these come from? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's start scanning. Just checking out for observers. None base at my base. Is under attack. Engage. Transmit orders. Oh, the BCs are so slow. I mean, 40 minutes isn't terrible for this mission. Even like normal play. No observers there. Uh, I'm going to... No, I gotta kill this cannon first, and then I can use that to check for stuff. Where did the zealot come from? He's gotta have a house somewhere. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. So I'm going to put my vessels in a, like, big old line across the entire side of the map and then just walk them across with a magic box. And that'll fan everything. It'll be the giant sweep and it'll actually be fairly quick. It should happen by the time my stuff gets across anyway. So these pylons are not killable. Transmit orders. Oh, really? Receiving headquarters. 
Ah, great. Transmit all. Receiving Abandon ship. Okay. Not down, that down. We have you on vi- Ah, we have you on visual. Receiving. And just get we these in a big old line. Make sure the entire map is visible. We have you. Well? Receiving headquarters. And we're gonna save, and Let's we go. Transmit orders. Receiving. We have you on visual. We'll correct course Transmit a little bit to make sure that they ah. stay fanned out. Receiving headquarters. And then we just watch the mini map and we look for anything that looks evil. We have you on visual. I'm not seeing any evil so far. No forces under attack signs. They hide ships in the corners. Not today. Still nothing on the minimap. We're almost there. Definitely a real human. The real question is, why don't they give the mothership a child? Ah, mothership should have Transmit baby ships orders. that go around with them. Otherwise, how are they a mothership? Broodlords have babies, have so what about motherships? Alright, that's the entire map. You the entire thing has been swept clean. We'll there were no observers. Whatever because they would have been seen. Victory. Yes, All right. No, I don't think it should be interceptors. I think that it should spawn with a giant wall, or not a giant wall, a uh, spawn with a little baby ship that is a tiny mothership, and you can feed that minerals and turn it into a mothership, which then spawns another baby ship, and that's how you propagate your motherships. Where else can I go besides a train mission? Yeah, it makes a mothership core, and then that mothership core makes stuff. It'd be it'd be beautiful. Circle of life. Oh. We've received reports of a new Dominion. <laughs> There's nowhere else to go. They're running a large number of supply <laughs> trains with. I've security. delayed this mission so long. If we intercept the trains and liberate their contents before they can be shipped off world could make a serious profit. <sighs> Where's the Fathership? Unfortunately, the Fathership was recruited to fight the, for the Dominion and fell against the Zerg. Never thought we'd be back to this graveyard again. What have we got, Matt? I didn't pick anything before I went here. <laughs> uh, let's abort mission and figure out what I'm, what I'm building and get the upgrades for it. Because I definitely want dusk wings. Top, mid, bot, mid, top, mid, top, mid. Yeah, that sounds right. 